going to school. Got a lawnmower back there. We're going to the shop too. First school. First school, then return the lawnmower. Okay, got rid of the lawnmower at the shop. And what a mess it is around here. Oh, construction, it's one lane. It's two lanes over there, but it compresses down by the shop. Besides one lane. It's a traffic jam. That Tim Hortons drives here with the trailer. This trailer pulls really nicely. You can get through drive throughs easily. Uh, I'm on my way now, though, to... Where am I going? I'm going to Habitat for Humanity. I also want to go to Lee Valley Tools and get some anti-vibration gloves. And these are gloves that, uh, they're fingerless gloves, the ones I want. Uh, and they have rubber pads at the palm and then the thumb. And they absorb uh, vibration from sanding or whatever power tools. So, that's, uh, then my hands won't hurt after using power tools. They work really good uh, if you're hammering too. It takes a lot of the, the pounding out of the, your hand. That's a nice Forstner bit display. That Lee Valley. <laughs> I found him. Got my new mittens. And there, those are the pads. Anti-vibration pads. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here. We're gonna head back home. Oh, what am I gonna do? Uh, I might be able to find something to do when I get home. <laughs> Maybe. Back home now. These are my new mittens. They're made by Horizon. They have spongy stuff in here. So, uh, not spongy, I shouldn't say that. It's a rubber type stuff. You think of a, a piece of silicone, a little, a little stiffer. Well, maybe the same thing. Anyways, new gloves, anti-vibration. So when I'm sanding, I foresee that I may have to do a little bit of my hands don't go to sleep unless that drives me nuts so let's uh let's just set these aside I've got another project I've got to do right now and it is I'm going to uh, pop the wheels off the, uh, the hubs off the trailer and grease the bearings as well it's uh it's right there I've got grease, I've got the ability. Let's do it. Oh, talk about, talk about perfect timing. The grease gun ran out and I've got one wheel off. I've done one side. Uh, it's, uh, well, it's grease. It had lots of grease and the bearings are running nice, so it's no big deal, but it's good to check once in a while, right? Don't want to get stuck on the side of the road with a bad bearing because then you have to do all this on the side of the road and it's messy. Gonna re refill uh, my grease gun now. Switching greases to not really keen on this red grease that I've been using. Get the grease but tube out. And I went and stuck it in the tube. This is what it is. It's a green grease. It's raining harder. Great. Ooh. That's thicker. Oh, and it smells nicer. Perfect. That's what I want in my grease, actually. See so, yeah. 
Nice smell. Mm, there we go. Oh, got a couple of pumps. See how much how thin this red stuff is. That's one of the things I didn't like about it. Premium grease, whatever. It's a little thin. I want it a little thicker. So I got a little thicker. This is my trailer hatchet. It stays in the trailer, the utility trailer. I, the head was a little loose, it had dried out, so the wood shrunk. So I put it in a container of glycol last night. And glycol is antifreeze. Well, the glycol will never dry out. It's soaked up, it's heads on there like it was brand new. <coughs> so you can see. The glycol soaked up to there. I only had it in. I had it in about that far. That's all the stuff I had. So, just right, wiped it down with the remainder of that grease because it was uh, rusted. And uh, it can go back in the trailer now. It stays in the toolbox. Good spot for it. Okay, all that's left is to clean out. Huh. Uh, I do it a couple of things. I got this uh, rust converter out because I've got an old anchor chain that's rusty. It's funny that it's rusty. It's a galvanized chain that had a little bit of rust on it. Uh, and I don't know, it's probably from being with other chains that rusted. But, anyways, I put it in a bucket and now that's what it looks like. It's black. That's good enough. <laughs> I don't know how, oh, I should read that bottle. See how long it's supposed to be in the converter for. And uh, I know I have to rinse it off. Using a wire brush. I didn't use that. I guess uh, you leave it, uh, you do three or four thin coats. I've got it in a bucket with some of this in it. I did use a brush to brush it around. It's got a couple of coats on it. Maybe I'll uh, just keep mixing it about. And it says to let it dry for 24 hours. And it says it does not perform on non-rusted or sandblasted surfaces. Well, it does something funny to galvanize, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, Top coat required. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens when you don't do a top coat. Because I'm not going to do a top coat. Because I don't want a painted, uh, painted chain. I could, I guess I could do clear coat. But... Well, we'll, we'll just see what this turns out like. I'll give it another stir later on. Well, it's time to stir. I should probably have the safety glasses on. You can see the little brown spots I was trying to convert. They haven't done much. It wasn't really rusty. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But, it'll make for a good video uh, card. It sounds like the neighbors are racing go-karts out there. They're not. That's the landscaper. We'll leave this uh, to sit and uh, do its thing. Yeah, it, 
when I say it's in a bucket with that stuff, I've got maybe an ounce of it in there. So, and I did brush it really thoroughly with a, a little hog hair brush. Yes. Look at that happy little battery. 12.9 volts. It's charging, uh, which is good because it's kind of, well, it is really overcast. And it was raining just a little while ago. So we'll see. We'll see. The, see how this controller does, I guess. Let me give our chain one more. spot and I'm gonna hang it here. This is actually where I hang my chains. Uh, shorter like this chain. So let's uh let's get that now. Hang it up. Look at that. That's where I keep my hose washers too. And fire extinguisher. Some random crap. So that's oh maybe I had two ounces in there. That's that rust converter. I'm going to dilute this with water and kill some weeds in the driveway. That's been, uh, that's been my day. My beautiful wife's home now. I've got to uh, get a few more things for tomorrow. I've got to find a tent and uh, yeah, uh, we're just going to load up the car and go, I guess. Oh, that's changed. It's got whiter. It's about an hour later, and my chain has lightened up. Oh well, we'll leave it, see what happens. Okay, I was just inside making some stew. Ah, that I made, uh, what did I make yesterday? A pot roast. Anyways, I've changed that into a, a beef stew today, and it is fabulous ah oh, hmm i've had two bowls of it already ah <laughs> oh, there goes my diet oh well i'm gonna wrap it up here uh thanks for watching click clicky things and we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>